Hi guys, welcome back. I just wanted to do a video that has been requested a few times for me. Um, I've had a few requests to do a pinup makeup tutorial. So if you would love to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Ingla eyeshadow base and I am going to use my finger to put that all over my lid and right below my eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm going to take my brow bar to go and I am going to use the gel part of the palette. I'm going to take an angled brush and put it onto my brow so that I can make my hairs go the way I want them to. Now I'm going to take my Ingla eyeshadow palette and use this matte brown to fill in my brow. I don't want to fill them in completely, but then again, this is a pinup tutorial, so their eyebrows were a little bit on the darker side and filled in. So I'm going to fill this in as much as possible without really making it look so unnaturally filled in, if that makes any sense. Now to finish and set my eyebrows, I am using my BH Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel and I am going to lightly brush it through my brow so that it can set the hairs in place. Now I'm going to take my Revealed 2 palette and I'm going to take this really soft cream color right here and I'm going to apply that all over the lid of my eye. I'm going to go back in with my Revealed 2 palette with this color right here and I'm going to place it on my outer V and inside my crease. Now I'm going to go in with my Inglot Concealer palette. I'm taking this color right here and I'm going to place it right below my eyebrow to make it more distinct and to give it a highlight. going to take my Afro Stripes blush and apply the white color on my brow to set the concealer that I place underneath. Now I'm going to go in with my NYC High Definition Liquid Black Liner to do the liner and wing on my eye. Just remember, the liner doesn't really have to be perfect. As you can see, it looks like it's all crazy right now. But what you're going to do is fill in that area anyway, so it really doesn't matter as long as the line of the wing and everything is even. Now I'm going in with my NYC regular liquid liner just to fill it in. It makes it a lot easier because this brush is easier to fill stuff in with as opposed to the other one I was using before that has a felt tip.
I'm going to go back in with my revealed palette and I'm going to use this black shade right here because as I look at myself I realize I need to do my drop shadow. So I am going to place black eyeshadow very close to my waterline and then I'm going to blend it all out so that it makes it a smoky smudgy look. Now I'm gonna go in with my Inglot Cream Foundation. I'm going to use two different shade colors here, number 27 and 21. Normally I am number just 27, but since with I realized the pinup makeup looks, they have a little bit lighter skin than what their actual skin tone is. So that's what I am going to try to do here. So I'm gonna mix more of the 21 than the 27 and try to give myself a more porcelain doll look. Here I am using my angled Kabuki brush by Lamora to blend in my foundation. Now I'm going to go in with my Inglot Concealer Palette. I'm going to use these two colors right here and I am going to contour my face. So I'm going to start out with the highlight and I'm going to place it underneath my eyes to conceal the dark circles and you'll see throughout my face. Now I'm going to go in with a darker brown to do my contouring. I am contouring my forehead. Since I have a bigger forehead, I want to try to make it look a little bit smaller. My temples, my cheekbones, underneath my jawline, and of course, my nose. I'm gonna take a cosmetic disposable wedge, which is latex free, and I am going to blend in my highlights and my contours. With blending of the forehead, make sure you bring the product into your hairline because if not, everyone's going to be able to tell that you have makeup there and it's going to look like you have a mask. So make sure you bring it into your hairline. It's okay if it gets onto your hair so that no one can tell that you have makeup on. Now I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Shade Light Contouring Palette. I am taking this medium light color to set all my highlighted concealers so that it doesn't crease and also to blend in the concealer that I placed on before a little bit better. Now I'm going in with the medium dark shade from the palette to touch up my darker contour and to blend it out more. I'm 
I'm going for a more dramatic contour here since that's how a lot of the pinup girls in the photos have it. And now I'm going in with my medium shade from my Inglot palette for my blush. Now I'm going to take my Afra highlighter and apply it to the top of my cheeks. Now I'm going to take my Berry Red Lip Liner by Wet n Wild and I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm going to go in with my Jing Eye Velvet Lip Shine Jewel and fill in my lips. Now I'm going to go in with my Unique Mascara and I'm going to do two coats of the fibers and two coats of the mascara to make it look like I'm wearing false lashes. And now for the finishing touch, the little beauty mark that many pinup girls have. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions at all about how I did any of it, please comment them below. I will post everything that I used in the description bar below also. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.